Hello? Um, hey, Kirk, it's me, Todd. Hey, how are you, man? Hey, make sure you clean the pool filters this time, will you, pal? Who are you talking to? The pool man. Okay, okay um, Kirk, listen, uh, there's something re re I've got... There's something really important that I want to talk to you about today. Hey, you're going to trim those rose bushes, aren't you? What are you talking about? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the gardener. You have a gardener? You don't? No, I, I don't. But I didn't call to talk about gardening. I, I, wanted, I want to talk to you about something really important that's made a huge difference in my life. You found a good live-in nanny? No, we don't need a nanny. Oh, come on. Everybody needs a nanny. And let me tell you something. If you can find a good nanny that gets along with the housekeeper, oh, that's better than winning the lottery. Well, that's exactly what I want to talk to you about, Kirk. I, I, I've actually found something that's better than winning the lottery. Let me guess. A movie deal with a huge guarantee and a high percentage of the profits. No, I want to talk to you about my new faith. Oh, you got a new one now, do you? Uh, let's see, what was the last thing you were into? Uh, uh, ba ba Baha or something? No, ba Baha'i, but, but this, is, this one's really different. I've become a born-again Christian. Wow, well, don't worry, Todd, it'll pass. No, it, it's not going to pass. I, I said a prayer and I asked Jesus into my heart. Oh, and now you're calling me to let your little light shine. Is that it? No, very funny. No, I, I, I said a prayer and I really, really meant it. I'm sure you did. Yeah, and now I have, I can't even tell you the amount of peace and joy that I have. Hey, that's great. I'm happy for you. Well, yeah, but the reason that I called is I wanted to tell you uh, about Jesus so that you can have the same peace and joy that I have. Hey, actually, pal, I have plenty of happiness, believe me. But not like, not like this, you don't. I mean, I am really, really happy. Yeah, so am I. Listen, did I tell you that my agent just negotiated a syndication deal for me in the Far East? This thing is going to have me rolling in the dough. Well, that, that's really nice, but I got to tell you something. Uh, Jesus is actually uh, better than money. Oh, yeah? Is he better than an Academy Award? Kirk, there's more to life than just fame and fortune. Yeah, 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 I know. I have a beautiful wife who's the love of my life. Well, yeah, but someday you might get divorced and then you won't be so happy. Oh, well, that's a very nice thing to say. Well, that, my point is you have a God-shaped hole in your heart. <laughs> no, Todd, actually, I don't. And even if I did have a hole in my heart, it would be filled by my children. Yeah, but someday they might get sick. Again, you're giving me lots of lovely thoughts yeah, here. I, I just want you to be as happy as I am. Hey, don't worry. I'm plenty happy. Wait, you're just not getting it. There's more to life than money and, and being really popular. Really? What? Uh, traveling to Europe? Getting a good seat in the best restaurants? Going to the best parties? Dude, I don't have to work for another day in my entire life. Your beverage, sir. Thanks. Man, I can't imagine life getting any better than this. Yeah, but Kirk, God has a wonderful plan for your life. Yeah, I agree with you. He sure does. And he can just keep this plan coming. Man, life is good, buddy. Yeah, but don't you want to be fulfilled? Fulfilled? I've got more fulfillment than I know what to do with. <laughs> don't you want peace? Hey, I got a good investor. That's better than peace. Don't you want joy? Got it. Uh, contentment. Check. Happiness. Ditto. Uh, well... But you, you really should try Jesus anyway. I mean, all you have to do is say this really short prayer. And really, really mean it, right? <laughs> right, I'll talk to you later. Oh, Ray, isn't the Christian life wonderful? It's everything I was told. Health, wealth, happiness, and heaven after this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm believing for a Lamborghini. Another one? Oh, yeah. God wants us to prosper. He wants us to have more, to have bigger, to have better things in this life, because the Christian life is one of abundance. I'll preach it. Of pleasure. Amen. Eat. Come on. Comfort. That's happening. And of luxurious living. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, I thought you told me this was a private beach. They're building a high-rise. This doesn't sound like construction to me.
Nigeria's living? No, it's not. The Bible says we're a battle to seek and save that which is lost. God offers everlasting life to humanity, and the world doesn't believe it. It rushes at hell like it was heaven, and rejects heaven like it was hell itself. What happens to a person when they die? Uh, well, actually, I mean, in reality, death doesn't exist. Rick, do you believe in hell? No. What would hell be to you? Uh, a job I hated. Heaven is here on Earth. Hell is here on Earth. It's all what you make it. Do you believe in a place called hell? Yeah. Who goes there? Bad people. You're looking at it right here. <laughs> so where are you going to go when you die? Probably hell, with all my friends. Does that concern you? Yeah. Not really. You're going to hell? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Why are you saying you're going to hell? I like it. Travis, do you think there's such a place as hell? Yeah. Who goes there? Me. Yeah, do you believe hell exists? Of course. Who goes there? We're there right now. So you don't believe hell really uh, exists? No. Why not? The Bible says it does. Well, not the hell in your idea of hell, but my idea of hell is right here, walking around us all the time. Ever since I was 13, I've been on a downward spiral and been loving it. So I hope Jesus did a good job. And you know what? If he did sacrifice himself for me, for the better. Because the only divine intervention I see in myself is myself. The Bible speaks very frequently of the fact that God is just and therefore there will be a judgment of sin. Sin must be paid for. It will either be paid for in a perfect substitute, which the Bible reveals is Jesus Christ, or in the punishment of the sinner himself. The final judgment is when, before the eternal state is brought in, all those accounts are brought to bear. All those things are balanced out. Man is judged on the basis of what he has done. And outside of being in Jesus Christ, all those who are judged by, out of those books of their actions and deeds, the Bible says are cast into the lake of fire.